Hey guys, Bolchity here. We're here for episode three of The Walking Dead. I got some things that I had to do today. I still have some things to do, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to get them done by the time I have all these done. So, we're going to record until this clip, so we'll have about, about, we'll have more than 40 minutes for this video. Um... And then after while that records, I'm gonna um while I uh, while I upload this, I'm gonna go play uh, the other parts. Um, I think you know what we'll do a normal forty minute for this, but we we had we we got pretty far for this episode because I believe episode four is supposed to be in the city of Savannah. Um, and I'm already, uh, entering the train, um, where I got to. When I finished this clip, I was already at the train. Um, but the only good thing that I liked about this is that we got to get Carly. Uh, the Carly of the relationship that I wanted, it only lasted, like, like, half. A video and a half, but whatever. Alright, well, I'll leave you guys to it. Previously, on The Walking Dead. Get the gates open! We've got wounded! I want to know why you thought bringing more mouths to feed was a good idea! You've been good to me and my family. You saved Duck from those... monsters. And you stood up to Larry at the drugstore. I won't forget that. No one's trying to cut you out of anything. Those look like the people who raided my Calm camp. Down, your paranoia is Fuck you! Did you tell anyone out there who you were, or that you were tied to this place? That's right. I know who you are, and I know you're a killer. He's not dead! Somebody help me! Come on! We know this guy's not gonna make it! No! <laughs> Sounds like a car. It's a shitload of food and supplies back here. We have to take this, Clementine. We need it to survive. Don't worry, little girl. Bandits got their eye on that dairy. As long as they keep getting food from them, you'll be safe. Looks like this is our lucky day. I don't like it. Keep your eyes open, all right? Just trying to be optimistic. Let's just get inside. Lee, where do you come down on staying or going? 
You mean, packing up the motel and getting in the RV? Yeah. We've been talking about it, but have you made up your mind yet? We should go. Motel's run its course, and it's not safe. You're damn right it has. We pile into the RV and don't pull over till we see water. And if Lily's dead set on staying, then, well, that's the way it goes. Most likely the last chance for you to see Just like last time. Everett's Over the rig, prescription. The pharmacy and scrape together whatever supplies are left. We didn't leave much in there. Hey, we're out of options. Something's better than nothing. <sighs> Shit. You okay? The ladder's come loose. I'm not sure how many more trips she's got in her. I'm not sure how many more trips we've got in us. No kidding. Looks like she's had it. What now? I'll find another way up. I better get a move on. There's no safe way through that mess. Kenny, come on. Ah, shit. Damn it. I can't reach. <sighs> Sorry, pal. All right, stay put. They're blocked by all the fallen concrete. not doing so good, huh? Well, we killed her dad. We did kill her dad. Set with you for agreeing to take that stuff from the station wagon? I think she understands. Hope so. Not like we had much choice. Right. Duck was asking about that guy at Herschel's farm last night. Really? I wasn't sure it phased him. Of course it did. It was a scary situation for him, Sean dying and all. I'm just worried he'll always think it was his fault. You're sure you're up for this? Lee, I'm fine. I've got this. Give me your hand. any worse. You could have...
Walkers don't scream, do they? Jesus, I don't think so. It doesn't matter. We gotta keep moving. Let's just leave him. Let's think about this. Fuck. Gotta shoot her. Put her out of this misery. No, we're here. What do you mean? I mean, we leave her alive, and she draws them all to her. Buying us time. Kid. Think about it. We're always worrying about the ones we can't see. She stays alive and brings them all out of their holes. We should be good to clear this place out, but we ain't got all day. Get everything you can out of these racks. Don't forget underneath the counter this time. I'll clear down here and then we gotta go. time now. For nothing then. Up and over. We're still clear. Let's hustle. back. Ben found some stickers in a drawer, and I put them on my walkie. Hey, sweet pea. That's neat. I'll find you in a minute.
Looks like we got the kid on watch again. What'd you get? We might as well leave a sign out that says the men are gone. Come and rape our women and children. Ha. Huh. So, what did you get? A lot of stuff. We're fine, by the way. Nice work. This'll keep us going. If we carry on like this, we'll get through the winter here. The winter? We'll freeze our asses off here! Because piling into an RV with you two, after what you did to my dad, is so appealing. Why wouldn't it be? You know I'll do what it takes to keep everyone safe. We're already safe. Take a look at the wall, Lily. That's not graffiti. Those are bullet holes. And we got enough arrow shafts sticking out of it to dry our laundry. We do whatever is best for the kids. Doesn't that make sense? It's suicide out there. We'll die in here. You're right. You could see someone sleeping and kill one of us. At it again, are we? Can it, Carly. Don't boss people around. I'm sorry. Somebody needs to make executive decisions for the group, though. And I don't think you're capable anymore. And don't start with me, either. Ken, we're all losing it with the attacks and lack of food. We're strongest together. It can't be you versus us, Lily. We're sorry for what happened to your dad, but we're in this together now. What about the food situation? What about protection? What about when this place falls? Somebody's got to be thinking about this shit. How has this not been working? We have everything we need. Because of me, Lily. That's BS, Kenny. And you know What about it. medicine? What about medicine? We deal with shit as it comes, just like we always do. And when 15 bandits hop over that wall in the middle of the night? What then? You just gonna deal with that? Everything that happens to us is another excuse for you to pull this crap about leaving. All I want is a week of peace, of not hearing it. Do you know how we got these supplies? We got lucky and let a girl get eaten out there. What? Some girl came screaming out of an alley. She had dead hanging all over her. She gave us enough time to get everything we could out of the drugstore. And you just let her suffer like what? Like bait? God, what is happening? She was dead anyway. It made the most sense in the moment. Lee's right. We've been putting our lives on the line doing these runs into the city. You wouldn't believe the shit we see. We all appreciate it, Ken. You should be thanking Lee for not shooting that girl. It's not so easy for him. Look, Macon and its people aren't savable. It's not a town. It's full of walkers. And the people who were left are dying and wandering out onto the streets. It's hell on earth. And it's coming. This way. It's not going to be easier out on the road! How would you know? What I know? I know you're not above murder. I know somebody has been stealing our supplies. That's right, stealing. And I know the list of people I can trust here gets smaller every day. Now everybody get out. She'll get over it. She's riling everybody up otherwise. You understand, Ken. She's right about one thing. None of this is getting any easier. Ooh, things are coming to a head. You could say that. Well, I think you did good today. And I find myself thinking that most days. Thanks. It's probably worth following up with Lily about what she was saying about missing supplies. With her wound up the way she is, I don't want to see her paranoid. No question. And I'd like to talk when you've got a minute. I'm sorry. You don't have to apologize. Did you come in here to give me hell or to coddle me? I wanted to follow up on what you said about stolen supplies. Do you know what's going on? I don't. I just heard you mention it. And you came in here to confess? I'm not stealing shit. I came in here to help. There's a traitor. 
Somebody, one of us, out there. He or she or they have been taking things. So you don't believe me? Look. It counts off and it's the good stuff. Antibiotics, oxy, fuck, anything with opium in it. I see the count, and it's fine. I keep my own. That one's getting messed with. I'm a fucking mess right now, but I'm not stupid. I know what happens if I start a witch hunt. So you want me to start one? I want you to poke around. What's there to go on? I found this tossed into the garbage. Huh. We don't toss out equipment, we fix it. You'd only try to get rid of a flashlight if you were using it when you shouldn't. Okay, I'll poke around a little bit. Thank you. If you don't find anything, I'm just going to assume it's you. A mystery. Jesus, Doc. I'm sorry. Um, I heard you guys talking. You need... Grace Detective, and I can be Dick Grayson, your ward. That's Robin. I know who it is. Okay, you're Robin. Yes. What do I do? I, I don't know. Go look around. Let me know if you find anything weird. I'm on the case. Talk to Lily yet? Yeah, she thinks supplies have been walking away. Really? There's some broken equipment too. I'll look into it. Thanks for doing that. What I wanted to say was, I've been thinking a lot about you. I think about you too. Our group is small. You're small. You're a convicted killer. Carly, Jesus. And I think people should know. Not because they deserve to, and not because you're a bad man. I think the opposite of those two things. People need to know because we're hanging by a thread here, and I can't see Lily talk about you without thinking it's the next thing she's going to say. You don't have to tell everyone, but think about who you trust and take the opportunity while you have it. You're probably right. Of course I'm probably right. People might be pissed, and telling them might cause some trouble, but it will be a far cry from what'll happen if they don't hear it from you. Yeah. So you'll do it then? I'll let people know. You're totally right. Good. I think it's for the best. Don't call me small. Now, is there anything else you want to talk about? Do you know anything about this flashlight? It's broken. I know it's broken. And the batteries might be in backwards. It uses just one. Everything should. What was the question? Did you break the flashlight? No. Okay. You really think people are ready to hear about me? It's not a matter of ready or not. There's never going to be a good time. There are going to be a lot of bad ones. Right now, it doesn't seem like one of them. 
But everyone's different. Who knows how each person would take it, you know? Maybe it's worth thinking about who you want to tell. You, uh, have any thoughts about Lily? I worry about her, but that's about it. She keeps trying to run things, but it's just not working. Do you feel safe here? Show me a bath with a heated floor and a high-rise apartment and hand me a full-bodied Malbec and then I'll feel safe. I don't know, this place is fine, but we all know that I could change it any second. I'm gonna look into this thing. Good idea. Hey, Clementine. Hey, Lee. You didn't accidentally break a flashlight, did you? No. Did Duck say I did? No. Did uh, Duck break the flashlight? I don't, I don't think so. He's just always blaming me for stuff. Like what? Putting a bug on his pillow. Did you do that? Yes. Hey, Clementine. Hey, Lee. What's this you're working on the then? It's called a leaf rubbing. My teacher, Miss Moore, showed us how to do them when we went to the botanical garden once. See, it's the same. Um, kind of. Uh, that's really something. I'll make one for you, too. Claire, I need to talk to you for a sec second. Okie dokie. The day you and I met, I was in a car accident. I remember. Your leg was bleeding. The car I was in was a police car. And I was on my way to jail for committing a crime. I need to tell you that now. Because I don't want you to hear it any other way. Okay. Do you have anything to say? I don't think so. You can, uh, walk back to your face. Do you like it here? here? I don't like it here. Do you want to leave? Where are you going? Somewhere else. I don't know. Maybe a new where? Yeah. It'd be a good thing to know. I'll talk to you later. Okay. Do you guys know anything about this broken flashlight? Uh, we don't got many of those. Yeah, yeah, it's not wrong. The glass has no more all of us left in it. I saw I some broken glass over by the ICC. I meant to clean it up before the kids hurt themselves on it. I forgot about them. Hey, you two, two. How are you doing? doing? We're okay. Just, Just have, have a little, little spat. spat. We all we carry guns now, 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 and I don't, I don't like, like it. it. It's the it's way it's gotta, gotta be. be. I know, I know but, but I'm not getting used to it. To it. I'm sorry. sorry. How are you, Lee? Ken, Ken, you got a sec second? I need to tell you something. Sure, sure. sure. Uh, what do you got? you got? It's scissors. Oh, oh no. no. What was she doing? Shut up, man. Shut up, man. I was, uh, on my way to prison three months ago. No, no shit. shit. No shit. It wasn't, it wasn't a touch 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 kid. Kid. It wasn't it wasn't oh, man, man, come, come on, man. man. Oh, I, got, I got an ass. No. no. I killed the guy in a fight. Hmm. Must, must have been a real easy shit. 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 Yeah, yeah, I'll, 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 I'll kill, kill him. So we'll go straight there. Lee, Lee, look, look at, at everything that mess I've got to do now. I'm, I'm sorry, sorry you went through whatever you went, went through. Yeah, yeah we were straight. straight. Hi, guys. Hi, guys. About the guns. Don't you start. I just wanted to say, Cat, it's probably good they make you uncomfortable. Thank you, Lee. But we need them. 
There's no doubt about that. I'll talk to you later. Can I talk to you about something? Sure. Is everything okay? I've killed before. I mean, before the walkers showed up. You mean you were a murderer? You say that like it was my job. Well, what are the details? It was in a dispute. Would he have killed you? I don't know. Tell me what happened when you were locked in the fridge at the dairy. I have to be back. Kenny and H. Jerry didn't get up. What did he do? He smashed his head in. Everything keeps changing. Okay, guys, just to make sure I don't mess up, I will be uh, just going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to end it here. So if you guys like that, this video, hit that thumbs up. If you did, hit that subscribe button for future content. Go to Bolt Church to see the rest of my stuff, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.